Hey now babes and welcome back to my channel here in this video I will be going ahead and unboxing slash reviewing the Melody Susie acrylic nail brush and I'm really really excited to be going ahead and showing you guys what it looks like as well as how it works so if you guys are new to my channel my name is Jess and I do tips and no videos like I said here in this video I will be going ahead and show you guys how it works and all that good stuff so I'm really really excited to be going ahead and opening it and unboxing it so here as you can see here I do have the package of it so I did already open it just because since it did come from like Amazon you know I just wanted to make sure what it was so I am really, really excited to show you guys. So as you can see, this is what it looks like, the packaging. I I can already tell I'm going to fall in love with it. So I cannot wait to open it up. So let's get on to unboxing it and seeing what it looks like up close, as you can see. And while I'm opening it, as you also know, I will be going ahead and using my gold vintage scissors. So I'm really, really excited to be going ahead and showing you guys what it looks like. It's come in this box. It does say Melody Susie No Brush here. It does say Make Beauty A New Smart. And then here on the back, it does contain some tips as well as any of their information and social media and website. So I will make sure to link down below the brush. So make sure to go check it out. And as you can see, here are some tips. So it does say make sure brush remains clean before, during, and after the nail process to avoid acrylic clumping and residue buildup. After the process, always remove moisture out, reshape, and store upright for long-term use. And also it does to avoid the handle of the brush being corroded please try to put some grip belt or, or other around handles so that's just to like actually make sure to keep the wood part nice and intact so as you can see this is what the packaging looks like it does come like i said in this little box it is a wood handle and this is a number 12 brush as you can see and this is what it looks like before i go ahead and take you out the box so i'm really 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 excited to be going ahead and trying it out so let me see if i could take it out these little things just like that so here as you can see this is what it looks like and honestly i feel like it is a really good size also like for just grabbing onto it so as you could see it does have the little wood um gold and the brand and then the size like i mentioned and it does have the plastic thing so as you can see this is what it looks like i do like that it's kind of long as well so that way i do have pretty small hands so i feel like it's a really good size like i said it is pretty long so i love that and as you can see the grip kind of part is just silver so as you can see that's what it looks like so i will be going ahead and taking off the cap this is what it looks like before we go ahead and take out any of the starch or whatever it might have so that way we go ahead and open it up so as you can see that's just what it looks like here's a little up close of what it is here as you could see i'm really, really excited so i'm gonna be going ahead and breaking it in so i'm just gonna go in very slightly with my fingers to remove any of the starch from it as you might be able to see it as i'm doing this to it you might see little particles going up or moving around so that's just simply what i'm doing taking everything out and i will be getting a little dapping dish with just some warm water just so that way like i said we can break it in and see what it looks like so i'm just trying to take out as most the little particles out and I will be doing that until I feel like there's no more left. I do want to mention that the hairs on this acrylic brush, they are 100% Kalinsky. So I love that. And very, very good quality. So as you can see, I'm still taking out some of the starch. And also, as you can see here on the handle, it is a rosewood handle. And they also, I believe they also do have just like the regular acrylic handle. So they do have quite a variety as well as in sizes. So again, this is a number eight, but they do also have a lot of different sizes. I believe they have anywhere from like a six to up a 22, if I'm not mistaken. So like I said, make sure to go check out their website if you guys are interested, if you guys need a new brush. I know I've been needing a new brush, so cannot wait to try this out. So as you can see, I did already take out all the starch now here i do have a napkin in case i need it but here i do also have warm water so i'm just gonna stick my brush in there let it get wet as you can see all the bubbles are bubbling up and going in so as you could see this is what it looks like 
as you can see. So now I'm going to kind of just shape it really quick into the shape that I want. So as you could see, just like that, I am in love already. So I'm going to leave it alone, let it dry. So then that way we can next use it with some automer and some acrylic to see how the brush picks up a bead so just some little more info on the brush like i mentioned it is a rosewood handle they also do have acrylic handles available if that's what you prefer because eventually over time obviously you do get um or you could get acrylic on the handle depending how you work so just a little FYI. And also, like I did want to mention, you want to make sure that whenever you get a new brush or just have your brush in general, you want to make sure you keep up with it, make sure you clean it. And also, do not ever use acetone on acrylic brushes because then it just dries up the hairs. And eventually, over time, you're just frying them. So you do not ever want to use acetone on an acrylic brush just in general. So do not do that. And always make sure that whenever you are using your brush, you make sure you're wiping it on a clean napkin so that way you don't get any residue on it as well because that does affect the brush very very highly so i definitely recommend that as well and like i mentioned the brush is pretty big so the whole size of the brush so from the very end to this very end it is 6.16 inches so like i mentioned it is a pretty long brush just so that you guys could get an idea of how long it is and just the hairs here alone it's like an inch so I love that. I love that it's a big, nice size brush. So obviously, the size of your hand. I feel like that also does have a lot to do if you guys want to use a smaller brush or a bigger brush. And also, depending on how you work on the size of it. So, um, that's one thing you want to keep in mind whenever you are buying a new brush. So, I'm really, really excited to try it out. So, I am going to let it dry for a little bit. And while that's drying, I am going to be going ahead and just showing you guys application here on this finger so like i mentioned i will make sure to link down below all the products that i use as well as any discount code so that way you guys are interested you guys could also save some money when shopping and i will be going ahead and swatching this acrylic from bell's beauty supply and golden hour it is part of her glow in the dark collection so since we're already in spooky halloween season i decided to swatch this one so this is the one i will be going ahead and swatching here on the finger and i will also be going in with my tapping dish as well as some um, monomer so that way obviously we could go ahead and do that powder to liquid ratio so since it is a number 12 i feel like the bigger the brush the more liquid you also have to pick up so just a little fyi so i like i said i will be going ahead and using this one from bell's beauty supply as you can see this is an absolutely beautiful glittery nude color and i love it this is perfect for um those nails that you just kind of want to add like a little bit of hint to it so love of love, love this acrylic so i will be going ahead and swatching this one here on the finger so i will be going ahead and dipping my brush inside the monomer so you will see some bubbles as you could see find it out take out any of my bubbles um there's some people that like their brushes more oval around flat i honestly whatever the brush gives me is uh, what i'll take so as you could see just going ahead, dipping it in monomer and twirling it around just so that way I could still keep its shape. So, like I said, that's one thing you want to do. And also, y'all, please ignore the background noise. I'm pretty sure you guys see, like, bir hear birds in the background. They is loud today, so I don't know. But as you can see, I will be going ahead and swatching this acrylic just so that way we could see how it works with. And also, I chose this one because it does have glitter. So I want to see how it does. So as you can see, I did go ahead and pick this glitter out slash acrylic. It's still an acrylic. So I will be going ahead and also leaving one of these little cotton um, pads in there. So that way I could wipe it with my um, brush so that way it could catch all the um, glitter. So I'm going to go ahead and dip my brush in there so I could get a bead of this acrylic here. So one, two, three. I picked up a pretty big bead as you can see that is a really nice size bead. I'm going to go ahead and place it here on the nail. I'm going to put the finger a little down just so gravity could help me out since it is runny. And I did grab a big bead like I mentioned so I'm just be going ahead and dipping my brush in the monomer just a tiny bit so that way I could get more liquid and start to form it as you could see so I'm pushing it upward towards the cuticle I'm not really too worried about here the end I'm 
and if anything just the sides i'm pushing all the acrylic in so that way it doesn't spread out and as you can see i'm going to continue to push the acrylic in towards the cuticle not touching obviously because you don't want it on the skin either so that's just simply what i'm doing here with my brush dragging it a little bit outward here at the end dragging this upward and then brushing up so that way any acrylic that i did not get it could get so going ahead doing that cleaning my sides as well so that way we don't have any acrylic here just like that and just gently very gently and lightly patting it so that way we could see it be nice and smooth as you could see here as well and pushing that upward pushing uh pushing the product upward and as you could see now i'm slightly gonna pat down i'm slightly gonna pat down just so that way any extra acrylic that we don't need could get off and that's just simply what i'm doing make sure i'm cleaning the sides here with the side of the brush so that way it could give it a nice clean finish as well so that whenever i go in and file it doesn't give me a hard time so that's just simply what i'm doing and obviously here with my finger i'm just gonna go ahead and do that grab the acrylic with my brush and obviously put it on the napkin make sure that anything else is not in there making sure that here at the fridge i am patting it making sure that i don't have no acrylic on the sides or any residue as well so as you could see that is what it looks like as you could see and i only went in with one bead and obviously here as you could see i did drop some of the acrylic but i did grab a pretty big bead for this small nail i i don't know why i thought i should have grabbed more but i did grab a pretty big bead so here's you could see i'm making sure that i don't have any bumps so i'm just going to have flattening it out a little tiny bit Taking off the acrylic, pushing the acrylic from the side inward. And just like that, as you can see, I applied my acrylic. A nice finish here to the nail. I could probably put another bead right here since it's missing just a tiny, tiny itty bit. I'm going to grab a small bead. Dry it out a little bit since I don't really need that much. Just a tiny, tiny bit to fill in this little side right here. And then as you can see, I'm patting it and blending that in. So as you can see, that is what it looks like. I absolutely love this brush. It has really, really, really nice hairs on it. I absolutely love it. So like I said, I did put in this little um, cotton pad so that way I could clean my brush as I am using it, obviously, with the glitter. And I have absolutely no glitter on my brush, and I love that. So... I'm just going ahead and cleaning it really quick here so that way I don't have to worry about it too much. I'm going to let that dry so then we could see a little what it looks like. But this is the brush and honestly, I love it. I am going to take out the cotton so that way I could go ahead and redo its shape. So I'm just going to go ahead cleaning here on the napkin since... Like I mentioned, you do not want to be cleaning it here where the acrylic it already is because then you're going to leave residue in the brush and you don't want to do that because of any time you will mess it up. So as you can see, this is the brush and also as you could see, it is not crimped. So I will definitely get that crimped. Um, I'm pretty sure um, at your local nail supply or even yourself, you could crimp it. So I will be needing to do that. Make sure to comment down below if you guys think there's a difference with crimp brushes and non-crimp brushes. I feel like there is, but I then I don't know. At the same time, I feel like there isn't. I don't know. You guys definitely let me know down below in the comments. But like I did mention, I like mine more flat and round. So I'm going to flatten mine a bit just so that way I could keep its shape and keep it nice and round. So uh, you know, you just kind of want to keep messing with it until you feel and know that you like the actual size of it so i just need to keep messing with it so that way it can keep its shape but other than the brush as you can see it laid the acrylic perfectly as you can see it is nice and smooth i did not shape at all and i absolutely love the application that it gave me on the brush i absolutely love it so i can definitely not wait to keep on trying it more and use it more so definitely stay tuned for any wash me works because i will be going ahead and featuring it and using it so that way i can give you guys more feedback on it in later videos so overall i absolutely love it i loved love love how much 
liquid i can actually pick up so i do love that whenever you go and pick up beads i like to be more on the bigger bead side just so that way it gives me more time art or filing whatever the case may be so i love to pick up more bigger beads and i have been sticking to a number 12 brush so definitely comment down below if you guys want to see me use a bigger brush to see if i can handle it if you guys want me to try out a smaller brush from the brand make sure to comment down below if you guys would also like to see that but overall i absolutely love it i love that the brush is 100 percent skolinski i love the rosewood brush look on it and again i love the gold detailing it looks so so cute so like i said i absolutely love it honestly i would give it like a 9 out of 10 the only one i would be like obviously i want to keep on trying it so that would literally be the only reason why but overall i absolutely love 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 the look that it gave me and the ratio that it gave me as well so yeah i definitely love it so make sure to comment down below if you guys also want to see it more in some watch me works but overall i absolutely love it and i will make sure to link it down below so make sure to check down below in the description for the link of the brush so that way you guys could go ahead and try it out as well if you guys want to and also a little sneak peek because you guys heard it here first i do believe that they will be coming out with acrylic soon so make sure to comment down below if you guys want to see me review also acrylics from the brand so make sure to comment down below but overall i love the brush like i said make sure to check down below in the description for the link of it and also with my code so that way you guys could go ahead and save some money when shopping with my lady Susie. so overall i loved it make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed as well what are your thoughts on it the color what did you guys think and i'm pretty sure they will be releasing also like other designs of it so make sure to stay tuned and go see on their website but overall i loved it so yeah make sure to go check it out it will be linked down below and also do not forget to check down below for any of my latest videos as well as any of my social media make sure to go check that out if you guys haven't and i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed do not forget to subscribe to the channel and also do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed i loved and enjoyed this brush overall so i cannot wait to keep on using it and try out even more but like i said i loved it and i hope that you guys do too if you guys get one and i definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video and and see you guys in the next one.